you know, there's things these days that I just don't think we take seriously enough. And by things, I mean gun control. I, I really just, I don't think we take that seriously enough. I mean, guns kill people. It, I, and it is a proven statistic that wherever a sign says no guns are allowed, nothing happens. It's statistic. It's fact. Statistically, 100% of the people that don't listen to Hillary and Obama, they die. I mean, it... it it's statistic. There, these laws are going to be put in place for a reason, and I, and I don't know why we don't. I just don't know why we don't pay, listen to them. I, I, why do we even need the guns? I, why should a person have an AR-15? Why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're gonna blow some stuff up today. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. What's going on guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, um, so story time. I haven't put a video up in a long time because honestly, um, for the past two weeks it has done nothing but downpour and I, I, don't, I don't mind to shoot in the rain. I have stuff that we can shoot in the rain. But it was such a downpour, and then um, after it stopped raining, everything grew up, and the pollen just attacked everything. And my sinuses had me in the bed. They pretty much killed me. I've been dead. Basically, is why I haven't had anything in the past two weeks. I've, I've been dead, but I'm alive. I've been resurrected, and to celebrate, I thought we could do something cool. Now, what I've done is I found this football helmet. I took the uh, took the face mask off and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if that baby can protect from a bullet um, I have a 223 and I have 556 five, um, we're gonna shoot it a couple times with that we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see the difference between 223 and 556 five, now um, I did this experiment actually the other day but um, I didn't actually mind the video at all. Um, it's just the wind was so bad that nothing, you couldn't hear anything. It was basically just a bunch of muffled noises. So, but uh, we're gonna do it again and um, we're gonna see if it works this time. Uh, now, if you notice here on the old Foxtrot farm, um, I have not mowed at all. And uh, there's some cows, they are, they are just buried. So I need to get to that. Next video, I will mow. I promise that. But right now, we're going to do some uh, some deep grass shooting. Now, um, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to get a, uh, a jug of water. And we're going to put it inside of the football helmet. And uh, we're going to see the biggest difference between the 5.56 five, and the 2.23 through this football helmet. So let's give it a go. Okay. Now, if you can see, I had the football helmet... The water jug is inside, so uh, we're gonna check out the five, five, six, and two, two, three. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Here we're gonna shoot this all the way from over here. Got my camera set up over there. Hopefully, I don't shoot that because I'm such a terrible freaking shot. But we'll give it a try. First things first. Two, two, three. Out of the AR-15. Okay, that was two shots with the 223. So, um, let's go check out the damage. Look at my wife. She is bringing me my 556 five, ammo because I forgot it at the house. Let me tell you something, fellas. If you forget your ammo and a woman brings you your ammo for you, she's the real MVP. Not Kevin Durant's mom. Forget Kevin Durant's mom. MVP. Okay, so I shot a little high, but if you look, I went to the top of the freaking jug. So, I don't see any other spots. I think I just hit the one. Um, that must have hit right there on the tape or something. I can't. Now, a lot of these shots are from yesterday, um, or the day before when I did the 
video and the wind was so terrible but as you can see that football helmet did not stop the 223 so we're gonna try the 556 five, well let's hope this 556 five, gets a better bang or my shooting gets a little bit better all right guys here we go 556 five, I don't know if you can tell but these are green tips so let's check these out All right, so I finally get a pretty decent shot with a 5.56, five, so let's go check it out. Nice. Oh, wow. That was a pretty good hit. I wonder where I hit that at. Um, probably right there, I believe. Looks like it might have came out right there. The inside actually looks fine, but nevertheless, that joke's history, and this football helmet did absolutely nothing. Actually, I was looking at this before I put it up, and I noticed that's the exit hole. If you look right there is where it came through the padding, and it came in right there. So that went straight through, came out right there, and that's the damage. So you can see the power's a lot more than the 223, obviously. Sorry guys, I just, I thought that maybe we'd have a little bit more firepower today. I, oh, wait a minute. I bought a pound of Tannerite. You gotta be kidding me. How in the world? How, what the world is going on here? What in the world? You gotta be kidding me. I knocked the helmet off the Tannerite. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is what I don't get. <laughs> um, that's the football helmet. I hit it with a AR-15, 5.56, five, a 270, and a 25-06 with the Tannerite inside like <laughs> I don't <laughs> are you guys seeing the same thing I'm seeing and there's the Tannerite um is that a hole that's, I don't, I don't know. It looks like the lid was blown off. I was looking at this and if you see the hole right there, I mean, it went right through. I was right here on the cap as well. I don't, of course that wouldn't have hit anything, but that, that is a, like a dead on shot. I really have no idea how that did not explode. And like you've seen, this football helmet is absolutely demolished. That's a miracle that didn't explode. Well, um, that proves right there that uh, football helmets do not protect anything. Uh, maybe we have some dud tannerite, I don't know. But um, don't worry, I got more for future videos. Well, what did this prove? Um, if you were thinking about running around in the Iraqi desert with a football helmet, it's not a good option. The whole time I just thought, my goodness, I am a terrible shot. Uh, and I knew, I was like, I'm not the best shot in the world, but I'm not that bad. There's no way. And the Tannerite just didn't blow up. But 
it proved that that football helmet wasn't stopping anything. Thank you guys so much for watching Whiskey Foxtrot. I'll see you next time. God bless. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. Yeah.